Okay, uh, hi everyone, I'm Callum. I work at Grafana Labs, mostly on upstream Prometheus, and today we're gonna talk about Loki, which is a log aggregation tool we built for doing instant investigations. Uh, so really quick, yes, Grafana Labs is a company, lots of people ask that. We work on a bunch of observability tools, and we have hosted versions of them for our customers. So Loki is one of them. So uh, right now, instant investigations look something like this. You get an alert, you go look at your metrics and your dashboards, try and find out what the cause might be when the incident actually started instead of when your alert went off, and then you have to go somewhere else to look at logs because eventually you need more data. Uh, the main problems with this is that you don't have one single UI, you have to jump all over the place to find the data you actually want, and in most organizations, there's probably multiple tools for the same thing. One team might use Splunk, one team might use Elasticsearch, and personally, when I've tried to use things like that in the past, <laughs> it's, it's a pain to just even find the logs for the service that I care about. I would really rather just dump the log to standard out and grep through it, right? So. Um, there's also this fun, how do you get logs in Kubernetes? Uh, some of us are infrastructure engineers, but your application engineers might not know how to do that, right? Um, what if they want to grep, but they don't know where to go to get the logs? So some design goals we had for Loki, we wanted it to be cheaper than other options, SaaS or otherwise, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we're, gonna a, we're gonna run it as a service, so we care about operations, and we want to be able to easily correlate between uh, log data and other observability data. So just for some context, um, Prometheus is a pull-based metric and monitoring system. It talks to your service discovery to know where your services are, and it attaches things uh, like the Kubernetes job name, for example, as metadata to all your time series. So Loki does the same thing, except for it's getting your logs. So it can, for example, find all of your Kubernetes pods and grab the stream standard out um, logging from those pods and attach some metadata the same way Prometheus does. So you might ask, how is that cheaper? Um, we're not doing inverted indexes of all of your log contents like other log aggregation systems do. We only index that metadata that we get from service discovery. So, uh, just as I mentioned, this is a tool for ad hoc investigations. We're not trying to replace things like Splunk or Elk if you're doing like analytics or business intelligence type stuff. So keep those if you're using them for that. So same investigation type scenario we were looking at before. We're gonna have a dashboard. Um, we're gonna then look at logs and we're gonna see how we can correlate our uh, metrics data and our logs data easily when we have Loki in place. So here we've got a dashboard for uh, query latency. We can see that we've got pretty bad tail latency in the 99th percentile there. And we can also see that whatever is happening started sometime around 2020. And here we've got uh, queries from our application to the database, and these orange spikes that we're seeing is actually 500 status uh, codes being returned from the database to our application. Um, so let's assume that our service retries when it gets a 500, for example. So we can go into Grafana Explorer, which is new, um, and do kind of ad hoc queries, and you can see we're, um, we're looking for a specific instance of our database application here, and there's that, up in the top right, there's a, a red arrow pointing to the split button. This is the view you get if you click the split button, and you can kind of see, but the instance label that we were looking for in our metrics was copied over, and we can then just select the Loki data source and view the logs for that exact same thing we were just querying our metrics for. So, we can then do like just simple regex stuff on top of that, for example, just filtering out only uh, error level logs, and we can see that there's some uh, lock timeouts happening and too many open connections, probably the cause of those issues we were seeing, right? So basic Loki deployment, um, kind of the same as Prometheus, if you were running Prometheus in your Kubernetes cluster, there's the agent that talks to Kube API server, Kube DNS, it scrapes your pods um, by connecting to gRPC streams, and internally, we actually run Loki as a set of microservices that make it multi-tenant and horizontally scalable, which lets us run it as a service for our customers. It's based on Cortex, if you've heard of Cortex, which is multi-tenant Prometheus. That's it.